Hi guys, this is Rich with Wild Wonderful Weekends, and today I'm going to take my DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced out for its first flight. I'm going to get some shots of the nearby John Amos power plant there, and uh, primarily I'm going to experiment with the thermal imaging camera. So let's take a look at it. After turning on the drone in the DJI Smart Controller, you can launch the DJI Pilot app. You'll be presented with a screen where you can select manual flight or mission flight. Since today I'm not flying a pre-planned mission, I select manual flight. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. The checklist screen opens just like it does in DJI Fly and DJI Go. Your camera view on the controller will default to whatever view you were using last. Along the left side of the screen are buttons that allow you to choose which camera view is displayed on the controller screen. Since I'm already viewing the thermal camera, my button options are split and visible. Tapping split will show both camera views on the controller screen side by side. Notice my button options change now to IR and visible. For takeoff and flight, I will tap visible. One more thing I want to check is that my images and video will be stored to the aircraft's SD card. I'm now ready to take off. I can touch anywhere on the screen to focus and set exposure. Now that I have some elevation, let's see what our subject looks like in thermal view. Very cool, and I don't think I would have very much trouble even flying in this view for short distances. Let's have a look at the same scene from both cameras. And here's a small arcing shot I took of the plant. When you record or take a photograph, the drone captures data from both sensors simultaneously. So you have a visible light photo or video, and a thermal photo or video. Now that you've seen this visible light version of the shot, let's take a look at the thermal video that was captured at the same time. Notice how much warmer the one smokestack is compared to the others. The hotter the object, the brighter the color, with white being at the top of the range and black being at the bottom. With that little experiment over, I was ready to bring the drone back down. I don't have a lot of experience with the Mavic series, but a couple of things really impressed me about this drone besides the ability to capture thermal data. It's extremely stable and did not drift even a little. And although the weather was pretty calm, even when the wind did gust, it didn't seem to affect the drone at all. I don't know if all Mavics are like this or if it's just a feature of the higher end Enterprise drones, but I was impressed. The other thing that really stood out was how fast this drone is. Comparing this drone's responsiveness to the Phantom 4 Pro that I'm most familiar with, this drone felt like a sports car. Don't get me wrong, I love the Phantom and it's my go-to drone for artistic photography and videography but I could tell the Enterprise drone was created for serious work and to get that work done as quickly as possible. I really enjoyed using the DJI Pilot app as well. It felt very intuitive and the interface is uncluttered and streamlined. I will definitely be making more videos with and about this drone, the DJI Pilot app and the DJI Smart Controller. Thanks for watching and if you enjoy these videos, please remember to like and subscribe. Take care.